up my giggity giggity gamers and welcome back to the Heron region, my fake one region that I make fake one plot and so much more for while my great friend Simtard and Drop It All Tomorrow won't make music names and animations for. Anyway, with all the interest stuff out of the way, let's get on to the video. So today we are going to be making ice fossils for the Heron region. Ice fossils are basically just fossils, but ice, like from the ice age. Which the idea of ice fossils was based off Luxton and Noggin's ice fossil idea because it's a really good idea that I wanted to put my own spin on. So go sub to him if you are somehow not, he has like a million subscribers. Anyway, the first part of the video is going to be explaining how you obtain these fossils. So, to get these fossils, you have to at least have three gym badges and be in the town known as Streets of Fractal... Fractal... Fractalson... That I probably said wrong, because Simtide loves to tell me I say it wrong. <laughs> You'll meet an NPC known as Edor. A local ice miner, he's currently on a quest to find the fossils of the extinct Ice Age Pokemon. When you meet him, he greets you and shows you the local mine where he says you are welcome to the ice mine. Feel free to take a pickaxe and go look for some rare fossils. So the ice mine is basically a mini game where you travel around a randomly generated ice cave where you can run around and look for colour and pattern differences in the ice. Then you walk up to it, to it which will cause you to enter a mini game. That's basically like the Sinner Underground or mini game. That's thing basically the main thing that you do in the center underground is excavating in the walls for various items after locating them this is controlled purely with the touch screen but it wouldn't be the touch screen because ideally this would be on the switch <clears throat> but anyway it gives you a pickaxe and a hammer to use to try and break through the rocks in order to find two to four items. That's for the Sinnoh. In this one, you can find more. However, there is a limit on how much stress you can induce on the walls through this before the walls collapse into itself. To make things worse, there are a good number of rocks that are just there to take up space that can cause a cave-in if you keep, just keep hitting them. The items you can get from this is pearls, nuggets, and more. But most, important, most importantly, Ice Age fossils. So let's actually get into the fossils. So to revive the Ice Age fossils, you m just take the fossil you got to the front desk. There's a person where there that you talk to and to the mine. Next to them is Edor. When you show him the fossil, he will ask what have you found recently. If you tell him about the fossils you found, you found the fossil you found, he'll say, "Wow, that's amazing! You really got an eye for this." And he'll offer you to revive it for you. If you say yes, uh, you give it to him, and the fo you give him the fossil, and he goes to the back room and revives it for you. So let's actually get into the Ice Age fossil Pokemon. The first one can be found after reviving the new fang fossil. After that, you'll get Match Kit. Match Kit is a fire ice type and it's based off Loxon and Noggin the Saber Tooth Tiger Ice Fossil Fake One. <clears throat> anyway, this Pokemon name comes from Match and mixed with Kit. Kit meaning baby tiger. Anyway, this Pokemon was the cub of one of the biggest, if not the biggest, predator in the Ice Age, Flamer Tooth. But we'll talk more about them soon. Back to Flamer Tooth's cub, Match Kit. Match Kit is a very well behaved Pokemon that can be very stubborn at times. This Pokemon is not quite at the perf is not quite at the perfect balance of ice and fire yet. So Match Kit is always sneezing. When Match Kit evolves, he turns into Flamer Tooth. Flamer Tooth has reached the perfect balance of ice and fire. Flamer Tooth was the most feared predator back in the Ice Age, but still an extremely powerful Pokemon. This Pokemon attacks with his claws of ice but can also set his claws and fangs on fire to burn the opponent down this pokemon is very popular for an ice age pokemon mainly because of a movie called something like pokey age it stars a flame of tooth as one of the characters there's also a mammo swine anyway let's get back onto the topic of the ice age fossil pokemon Here's Turtux. Turtux is an ice poison type, a brand new type combo. Turtux can be revived from reviving a shard fossil. Anyway, this Pokemon has a very hard shell with poison covered ice shards coming out of it. Turtux is an ancestor to Turtwig and Turtonade and many more. Turtux's name comes from Toxic and Turtle. This Pokemon was quite the bulky Pokemon not because of its nearly impenetrable shell. That's nothing compared to when it evolves into Terrapin. Terrapin has a shell even harder than Cloisters. Speaking of that, this Pokemon is also an ancestor of Cloister and Shorter. Anyway, Terrapin's name comes from Terra and Tertoise. Turtoise. This Pokemon sometimes uses poison covered tail to slap poison over the opposing Pokemon. This Pokemon is very bulky and strong to boot. Now it's time for the last false Pokemon. Raikin. Raikin is a special case where Raikin is a mix of two old Ice Age Pokemon where their DNA got mixed into the duo fossil. Once Raikin is revived, it will really be the Wrangler form or Brainstorm form. Raikin's name comes from Manta Ray and Drake. Raikin has two forms, the Wrangler form and the Brainstorm form. These forms are achieved, achieved like Age of Slash's forms, but instead of attack and defense, it's attack and speed and special attack and defense. This Pokemon was based off the fish guys from Ice Age and then I mixed them. Even though I found out they weren't fish. So Google lied to me. Ah. But whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just as much as I've had making it. And I hope you guys like these fossil boys. 
And I'll see you all next time. Bye.